Well, hey guys, Greg with the G Bocker Adventure Chronicles. Time for another vintage travel trailer adventure. I am over on the east side of the state of Michigan uh, at the state park, Tawas Point State Park. Um, so I thought I'd give that a shot. I've done a lot on the uh, west side of the, of the state, but not so much on the east side. So what the heck? I figured let's travel to the east and see what's going on. Here is the view. We're actually on Tawas Bay right now. And it's gorgeous. And now you have to get the trailer all set up. So let's head that direction. It's like very, very busy today, but that's okay. And my trailer is uh, right there. Site number 37. Let's get it set up. Yep, well, this is how they did them back in the day. We didn't have all these push button awnings, you know. <laughs> Here we go, everything is all set up. Got the awning out today. Do a little walk around. I didn't have a long enough 30 amp extension cord, so I had to use my regular 12 gauge extension cord, put the adapter on there, because the power box is quite a ways away. It's like over there, so. But yeah. Okay guys, time to relax. Cheers guys. Let's see what Tawas Bay has to offer. We'll have to check out the lighthouse. And there's a trail that goes out to the point. So we will check out those places. Well guys, it is like 7 o'clock. I think I'm going to get the grill out and grill up my burgers for dinner. There, the grill's all fired up. Time to get the burgers. Mm. 
little McGuire's Monterey steak seasoning. Might just cook all of them up. Probably won't eat them all, but I'm sure I won't eat them all. Might just cook them up anyway. I'll have them for a snack tomorrow. I think what the agenda is going to be is tomorrow we're going to do a little bit of hiking. Just going to hang around here tonight. And then check out the lighthouse and all the other stuff tomorrow. Cheers. Looks like they're all done. We're gonna make double back to the burgers. <laughs> Not gonna be able to eat all that. <laughs> oh well. We'll give it our best opportunity, best try though. Now that's a huge hamburger. Check it out. <laughs> Ooh, that's a hamburg. Mm. Really good though. That's a lot of meat. Holy cow. This is awesome. Well, I'm eating my hamburgs and I'll get back with you. We may have a campfire tonight. We'll see. Once it gets a little bit darker and cools off. Right now it's pretty warm. I don't really need a campfire, but we'll see. Well, believe it or not, I finished both of them. Yeah. I'm stuffed. Holy cow. Those are big hamburgers. <clears throat> I think what we're going to do now, looks like the sun's getting ready to set. So we're going to kind of clean up here and then uh, take a walk down by the beach and check out the beach a little a little closer. The water is so shallow here. There's kids that were out there a good 20, 30 feet. So it's not super deep. Yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. It's going to be a gorgeous sunset, that's for sure. Not sure if you can see me, but hey, that was a gorgeous sunset tonight. That was awesome. So I'm back at the camp right now, and I'm just going to sit here. Got a campfire going. Just going to sit here, relax with a campfire, enjoy the rest of the evening, and then I'll hit the hay. So anyways, if I don't see you a little bit later, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody.
Well guys, coffee's all gone. <clears throat> Let's go for a hike. We're out to the nature trail to the Lake Huron Beach. Right there. The sign. And we got the gift store and the lighthouse all down that way. So let's go. It's kind of nice. Got a nice little lake over there. A little sitting area. <clears throat> you can actually see the lighthouse right above the tree line right there. And we do have a nice, nice blacktop pathway too. Yep, I mean, it's a nice campground. Uh, the biggest thing is I think they have people packed in like sardines <laughs> more than some of the other ones. But I've also been into campgrounds where they're basically just parking lots too. So at least this has got some trees in there and stuff, but it's pretty tight. Looks like we have a pet friendly beach. Off that way. Let's check it out. Yeah, nice. I got some uh, nice little seating areas here that you can sit down and relax for a minute. Pretty neat. Nice little picnic area. Yeah, that's pretty neat. They actually had to move the lighthouse because the point kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And it got to the point to where it wasn't doing its job as far as guiding boats because the, the peninsula kept getting larger. So this is what they call an oil house. So this is where they would store the oil. Years ago they used to use lard and that type of oil to fire up the lighthouse. But then back in the... 18 late 1800s they started going to kerosene which is a lot more flammable so they actually built these oil houses to store the flammable kerosene in I think we need to check this out. Entering the primitive zone up there. This looks kind of cool. I'm going to check it out. They got like a little, uh, there's a railing or something up there. like an old boardwalk and it runs right along the lake Tawas Bay I'm not quite sure I would trust that stairway right there that looks pretty scary <laughs> we'll go back this way
Here we got a nice little swamp area or wetlands. Yep, the Saginaw Bay Birding Trail. Let's check it over here. This is going to be Lake Huron, I'm sure. Since we'll be going across the other side of the point. We have made it to the end of the trail. That is the foghorn for the lighthouse. And I'm sure this will be the end of the point. Right here. You're going to have Lake Huron over there. And over here is Tawas Bay. Looks like an old concrete dock right there, settled into the sand. And there's the foghorn, right up there. Nesting area for the piping plover. There was one of these up on uh, North Manitou Island, too. It's kind of neat. They find the nests, then they actually put a cage around it that only the bird can get through. So no other animals can get in there and destroy the nest. There's a little baby one. Pretty cool. And they got the adult right there. And there's their little eggs, just laid out in the middle of the gravel. about does it for this adventure uh, Tawas Point State Park on the east side of Michigan up by the thumb area it was a great little trip coming all the way over here uh, I haven't really been to this side of the state that much so it was interesting to see it if you like this kind of video please hit the like and subscribe button uh, also hit the notification bell so I can let you know when I upload more videos and please leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions or any questions about this little trip here um, but yeah other than that this is Greg with the g -Bocker Adventure Chronicles, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, and happy camping, guys. We gotta get back, get camp packed up so we can head home.
All right, there's the camp spot. Home away from home. Now it's time to get things packed up and get ready to head home.